What's good, y'all? I want to show y'all some tips on how to get stronger on the bench. Listen, I got a power lift inside of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bodybuilder by heart. But one thing about me I just cannot stop doing is lifting heavy ass weight, man. I like to push myself to limits. I ain't think I'll be able to hit. You feel me? Like, you know, there was a point in time, like, I couldn't even, like, a 315 bench was like a, a dream of mine. And I remember, like, I couldn't even bench 225, you know? And after years and years and years and failing many times, I finally hit 315. Now all of a sudden, my PR is 365. Damn, that's crazy as hell. But one thing that I have to really let y'all know is specialization, all right? You have to know about that specialization training. What do I mean? Is, man, that shit's gotta be on your mind. You gotta be focused on it, like program the bench into your head. If you really wanna be good at the bench, then bench gotta be your nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, bench has gotta be your religion. Every time you wake up, get out of bed, the first thing that comes in your mind is not your bitch, not your family, not nobody else. It's that damn bitch. You gotta go straight to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Once you get up, take your pre-workout, go straight to the gym, bitch. That's what I mean. Bitch is love, bitch is life. For me, I follow a routine to progress, progressively overload our certain movements. See, don't sleep on the big lips. All the compound movements are fantastic to get anybody in shape. Sometimes you just gotta get out your comfort zone. But one thing is trying to master, get good, and get better at these movements. If you really want to see your physique change right in front of your eyes, focus on progressing in these movements. And one thing is bench. So what I would do is, I used to bench like three times a week and also do accessory movement. So here, I'm gonna give you the blueprint on exactly what I did to really increase my bench. Now, I wanna warn you, just because something that works for me ain't gonna work for you. So the first thing you wanna do is always warm up. You always gotta get the blood flowing, making sure your joints is all right. Get, get through the groove, you moving. Just making sure you get the blood flow and you nice and warmed up. Now, hammer accessory movements. Don't sleep on accessory movements because it can really help improve imbalances that you might have. So say like, you know, doing, so saying like if you're doing dumbbell bench presses, you're doing lateral raises, everything that really targets the muscles that you're gonna work with bench, triceps, shoulders, chest, any sort of exercises to really strengthen those muscles so that way you can actually improve on the bench. Progressive overload. So when you're benching, every now and again, sometimes you have to increase that weight, man. You can't be stuck on 135 or 225 all day and you're not getting out your cover zone. Don't be scared. As long as you got a spotter or you in a power rack, you are okay. The thing is, just kill that rep. Sometimes you gotta increase more weight. Just keep going up five. Don't go too fast now. You know what I'm saying? Don't go from 225 to 275 straight off the bat. You know, just ease into it. The best way is just ease into your personal record. What is your PR goal for what you want out of bench? So for me, I ease. Then she knows I was at 365. Try not to rush things. Because then, then she know you're going to rush into an injury. You're going to rush into the hospital, bro. Ease. So like I said, compound movements are fantastic for strength. And if you hit incline, you know, any variation of bench, decline, incline, dumbbell, you name it. There are many exercises you can do that can really increase your performance on the bench. And I'll say, don't forget about your back either. Do many exercises like rows and pull-ups especially. 
when I started doing rows and pull-ups, I mean, I've been doing pull-ups, but when I added rows in the routine, I'm telling you, my bench went crazy. So, make sure you hit them, hit them lats, boy. I'm telling you, man, you wanna see your bench skyrocket. And really focus on your weak points, man. Like, that's why I like my training. I, I do full body personally, but nowadays, I'm more focused on weak points than my physique. And I always thought one of my weakest points is my chest and shoulders. In my head, I always wondered, how do I get the bolder shoulders like Goku? Or I get the motherfucking titties, bro? Like, I want the double Ds, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want that Arnold chest. You feel me? How can I get that? So, I try to get good at the bench. And how I increase my bench is, well, I bench like a motherfucker. And I test my gangster each and every time. Sometimes you gotta leave your comfort zone. But it's more about ma making sure you master your form. Form is key. You can't have no weak ass form. You gotta make sure you got all points of contact and you gotta make sure that bar path is deep. People don't sleep on that form because I'm so serious. Don't bounce that ball on your chest, bro. At least give it a slight pause. Slight. Don't bounce that shit. I'm trying to kill your sternum, bro. But me focusing on my weak points, like getting my shoulders stronger, slightly getting my chest, really focusing on it, really improved dramatically on my bench. And don't sleep on rest. You don't necessarily have to kill it all the time, but if your main focus in your training is getting better at the bench, it's got to be your main priority, but you do need to rest in between. So just structure it how the way it'll fit you and your needs. But make sure you got rest so that way when you come in, you fresh and you ain't got no issues when you do go through the motions. All in all, them, it's pretty much how I built my bench, how it works. And bench was really never my favorite exercise to begin with, to be honest. But... Will I ever hit 405 bench? To be honest, I don't really care too much. I, I did everything I needed to do, and after the last book, I was never really a big fan. I was really chasing for the numbers. I really highly suggest you do, do not do dirty bulking, which this, that's going to be a future video on dirty bulking. Highly recommend you stay away from that if you want to get strong. I've been the strongest I ever was last year. But it's a sacrifice to the physique. Just know your structure and know what you're chasing for. Are you chasing for aesthetics? Are you chasing for strength? Performance. But love y'all. More videos coming.